Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA The Principal Painter, and today I have a couple of unboxings for you. I have a double header from one company, and my first Muni Made tray came in today. Not the one that I got with a kit, but one that I bought outright. I finally was able to snag a tray without buying a diamond painting, so that's exciting. So let's head into the painter's place. Oh, before we head in, I will be announcing my 4,000 subscriber giveaway today. I haven't forgotten and I have a winner. So let's head in there now and I'll show you what I got and do my announcement. See you in there. And we are back in the painter's place. As you can see, I have a lot on my crafting table to show you. First of all, I got a box today from Muni Made. I'm so excited. Uh, my friend, Alyssa, the diamond painting accountant, who is also my enabler, contacted me and said that Muni Made had some trays available for purchase. So I jumped on the site and I got one. Remember, I've gotten uh, a couple of kits from Muni Made, some diamond paintings from Muni Made, and you can get a tray when you buy a canvas, which is a very nice feature that Muni Made offers. But this is my very first one that I've gotten that I just bought all by itself. I feel like I've made some sort of history or something. And I also, uh, when I got on there, found something really cool and unique as well. It is a storage system that's a heart. So let me get this box put down. This is all very exciting. So first of all, if you are not familiar with Muni Made, it is a great company. I've loved everything I've gotten from them. Um, I've gotten a couple of their Deity diamond paintings from the Deity series. I'm actually going to be working on Deity of the Forgotten for the Break the Silence event that's coming up in October. So that'll be fun. This is their business card. It's uh, a, a thank you card um, from them. And look, they've wrapped up my tray. I hate to to mess up this cute little tissue paper. It's Halloween tissue paper, very nice touch. They package their things very nicely. All right, Alyssa suggested I should get this in emerald green, and I did. I do love their trays. Okay, they've got this packaged very well. I've got some bubble wrap caught on the little stopper here. Okay, let me see if I can go about this another way. Okay, they, ooh, this is a really pretty color, guys. Okay, did it get, oh, there we go. All right, I have removed the bubble wrap. Look how pretty that color is. Uh, these are some newer colors. Okay, I got something on here. Oh, some, probably some tape. I will get that off, but... I love these trays. I love um, them for, I love, th this is the large tray and I love it for the size. It, it is branded with Muni Made on the side of it. This is the top. Okay, here we go. I don't wanna, I don't wanna break the top taking it off. Come on top, there we go. I do like this top. Okay, can they see the honeycomb now? Um, before I showed you a yellow tray that I had gotten um, for one of my Deity Mermaid uh, paintings that I got. It has a honeycomb pattern in it, which I love. It also has a tab on the side that helps you get the lid off of the tray. And here is the tray. And I did get um, the full tray with the stopper and uh, the lid. I love these trays. They hold a great deal of drills. Um, they fit in your hand nicely. They're not too wide. Um, so yes, my first Muni Made tray that I bought outright. And yes, they are sold out at the moment. But um, again, keep looking. And um, also, they do have a mailing list uh, that you can get on and join um, to find out when they do these tray drops um, as they are uh, appear to me at least to be random but I love their trays and I'm excited this is my second one yay all right again Alyssa you enabled me so I get on the site and I find that they have these which I have many storage systems for kitting up for drills but I did not have one like this it's in the shape of a heart and it has butterflies on it and when you open it up, 
Oh, this is so fun. Look, oh my gosh, even the vials are in the shape of a heart. I love that. It does come with stickers that you can put on the top of your vials to put your DMC numbers or whatever you would like to. And the vials are the larger vials, which I love. I love uh, I love kitting up in these. They, they are great, especially uh, for travel because when you can when you can screw these lids on and they don't the lids don't come off I I have had other storage systems that I do like but they're not great to travel with because the lids sometimes pop off in transit if you have it in a suitcase or a travel bag and I have had drills all over the place so yes this is one layer um I don't e I won't even venture I guess I'm thinking this is 60 two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Yeah, this has got to be 60 um, if I'm estimating correctly. But I just loved this because it's in the shape of a heart. And again, it has butterflies on it. I believe there are several patterns uh, to choose from in these, uh, these cases, but I just loved it. And it's got a little handle that you can uh, carry along your uh, diamonds with you when you're traveling or what have you. So Yay, I will be kidding up probably for the retreat in this because I love it so. So thank you, Muni Maid, for the tray and my carrying case for my drills. All right. In addition, I had two more arrivals from none other than Jaded Gem Shop. This will be a double header from Jaded Gem Shop. I'm going to show you both canvases because I love both of them for very different reasons. Now, for those of you that were on my live last night, I did a quick unboxing and I called it a Cliff's Notes unboxing. Anyone familiar with Cliff's Notes or Sparks Notes? It's what we all read in high school so we didn't have to read the whole novel. Um, if you didn't do it, God bless you if you read the whole book every single time. Sometimes I did, sometimes I have to admit I did use the Cliff's Notes or the Sparks Notes, but a Cliff's Notes version of an unboxing means, you heard it here first, guys, uh, means that I am not going to spend 12 hours going through every drill uh, and all that, but you are going to get to see the entire thing and get the gist. Now, I'm doing a semi Cliff's Notes unboxing of these because I do want to show some features of them. I love Jade. Um, she, does, uh, she does do her canvases a little bit different, so you will wait a little bit longer for her canvases um, rather than some other companies. However, um, I love her shop. She's worth the wait. As I always say, we have plenty to do when we make orders. So um, waiting a little bit longer uh, is not a deal breaker for me. And she also does have you uh, check off a box before you order stating that you realize these are made to order kits. Um, you are gonna get top quality. She wants to provide that for you and uh, you will wait a little bit longer. But what did I get from Jaded Gem Shop? Okay, as you can tell from my little, my little Funko Pop Wednesday, I am so obsessed with Wednesday Adams. And I also love this artist. Um, I discovered this artist actually on uh, Dime Moon Shop a long time ago. And Jaded Gem Shop is now carrying this artist. You cannot see it. This is Wednesday Adams. I'm not sure of the title of this piece. I'll, I'll let you know when I get into it, but it is from Medusa the Doll Maker. <gasps> I've loved her art uh, and had not gotten any of her pieces until this one came out and I had to get it. It was Halloween, it was Wednesday Adams, and so I had to get it. Uh, very nice branded box, um, sturdy box, and there is a thumbnail on the top of it. So if you do stack your paintings, you will be able to see what painting is in here. I've got, oh, I've got some nice little washi tape. Um, it's a thinner washi tape green, which is very nice. These are poured glue canvases. So let me roll her backwards. And you have all kinds of accoutrements or sussies in here too. So we will get into that as we go along. And these are two, oh, the next one I'm unboxing is really big. I'm just warning you now. Um, let me get this out. Okay. All right. So this is poured glue. It does have a clear cover on it, so I can roll it back and zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. These canvases are very felty feeling on the back, but they are thicker and very pliable. Very nice quality canvases, scalloped and surged edge to prevent fraying. All right. 
I'm gonna let this hang out and flatten in my lap a little bit. When you unroll your canvas, you do get a sticker sheet, you get your drills. Um, I love the way the drills are packaged in these nice Ziploc bags. Uh, there are two bags of them. Also, um, they do have the SKU number of the canvas and one of two and two of two. This indicates there's more than one bag of drills uh, if you do get more than one bag, so that's very nice. Also, if you store your drills separately, um, you can identify that there are two bags and what canvas it goes with. This is release paper. Now, I have learned that this release paper, I'm not gonna take it out, but you can put either side on your canvas. You don't have to worry about a right side and a wrong side. I found that out from Jade. Um, I had that question on one of them that I unboxed and she said you can use either side. Uh, I use this cover paper. Um, if you are working in an area like I'm right-handed, so I normally start in the bottom right-hand corner of my canvas. But as I'm moving over, if I have a section that I'm working on and have to start, if I'm multi-placing, I do go left to right, kind of like you're reading. So if over here I have not laid drills down, I have the uh, chance of my hand getting stuck in the glue, which I don't like to do. Um, so I do put cover paper down. A lot of people use cover paper to section off their canvas. They peel off one piece and that's the section that they work on to kind of keep them on track and to show their progress as they're working. Um, you can cut these in half too because they're a nice size. All right, you do get a sticker sheet. Look at this image. Look at her, it says, be afraid. Be very afraid and it's Wednesday Adams and she has an ax in her hand a bottle of poison, which she looks like she's about to drink, and you've got Thing on her shoulder. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. I, I just love it. It is also um, kind of a gray and a black. It's got some sepia in it, um, for lack of better term. Um, so you're, you're only gonna have 26 colors in this, but that's the point of it. It is Wednesday Adams. Wednesday Adams is kind of dark and spooky and, you know, dreary. Um, but that's what makes her funny. I just, I absolutely love her. These are all individual stickers that you can peel back and put on your uh, containers individually. It does have the number in the first column that tells you you've got 26 colors. The second column are your symbols that you're gonna match your drills up with. The third column are your DMC numbers. And uh, the fourth column is the quantity of drills you're going to have. So um, symbol F, you're gonna have 13,024 drills, but who's counting? Um, also in the bottom, you've got Jada Gem Shop. And this entire sheet is a sticker sheet, so you can take this and put it in a log book. So that's very, very nice. All right, are you ready to see her? I'm ready to see Wednesday, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna move my little Wednesday girl so I don't, um, knock her off okay so this is going to be harder to see for everybody because it is a darker canvas that does not mean you're not going to be able to see the image clearly when you put drills down i will tell you right now this is a confetti lover's dream however for those of us that do like multi-placing there's multi-placing opportunities in the background a lot in her hair that's going to be straight black i'm going to tell you that heart symbol let me see. And this is interesting too, little tour of the canvas. Your schematic is going to be on the bottom. It does have everything that hard is gonna be 939. So that's a very, very dark, dark brown. But you can see this is mostly going to be blacks, whites, browns, and a little bit of sepia for the skin tone. But I loved this one, I did. And I know you're like, Kara, seriously, she's got poison and ax, but it's, it's Wednesday Adams. How do you not love her? And again, without showing a whole lot of these drills, um, I'm not going to take them out because they're so nicely packaged, but you can see lots of grays, blacks, dark purples um lighter lavenders um so that's where the colors are going to pop um but anyway this is a darker canvas so it is going to be harder to see but it doesn't mean that it's not going to turn out beautifully i cannot wait to work on this one um this will be very interesting as well. Um, Jade does give you suggestions on sizes, especially when there are words on the canvas. And as dark as this is, I can see, be afraid, be very afraid. Um, what's gonna be interesting is to see if that poison comes out on that poison bottle, but I will not know until I put drills down 
on this canvas. But I love Medusa the Doll Maker. Um, the title of it is Be Afraid. Is Medusa the Doll Maker legally licensed through Jada Gem Shop? You bet Medusa the Doll Maker is. Jada Gem Shop does legally license all of their artists. I also like the fact that there is a frame around this image uh, so that you can, um, it's already framed for you. The canvas is also branded at the top. Again, over here, you got the title, Be Afraid. Medusa the Doll Maker is the artist. And also, here is Jada Gem Shop's uh, social media information. So you have everything you need. It's kind of unusual uh, and interesting that the schematic is at the bottom and it's sideways. So I guess if you're working sideways, I don't know. But, um, you know, that's interesting. I always go by my containers, all that. And... Um, you know, if you need to, if you would like to leave this, you, you've got a couple of options here. If you would like to leave this intact, you can just leave it intact and use the inventory sheet. Um, I sometimes do that because my containers, sometimes I just number and I can do that. But I know that there are a lot of people that have to have the symbols. Um, I've talked to some people that maybe struggle with dyslexia and need the symbols to make sure that they've got the right drills going down on the right symbols. So if you're gonna have to peel these stickers off and put them on containers, um, you can do that. Uh, but go ahead and make a copy of this first. Uh, if you can make a color copy, that's even better. So yeah, so that's the first one. I love it. Oh, cannot wait. And I, again, I love this artist. Um, I don't know. I gotten any of Medusa the doll makers art ah uh, and again this this particular piece is a perfect example of you don't know what it's gonna be like until you lay drills down on it so don't shy away because it's darker it's gonna be darker it's Wednesday Adams so that is my first one this is perfect for the Halloween season coming up um, I love Wednesday Adams any time of the year so that is my first one my second piece from Jada Gem Shop when I ordered this I will tell you I was in a real funk and I needed some retail therapy so um, I went on Jade's site and I saw this one and this one is also great for the Halloween season, but it's not spooky, dark, scary. I just loved this one. Um, it spoke to me. I, I can't tell you there's no specific reason why it did. It was just a happy image to me, and I just loved it. I thought it was unique, and it is of a witch, but it's not scary. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this one back as well. All of these are poured glue, and I'll tell you the title. Hope everyone's doing well. I am really trying to get a few videos done. I am going to, uh, as you all know, the retreat this weekend, the Lone Star Retreat uh, is coming up this weekend. Um, and so I'm trying to get some things taken care of before I leave. We're, we're washing the dog tonight. We're cleaning the house tomorrow. So woo, we got a lot of bags of drills with this one. And this one is a big one. So we're gonna have to kind of do a pan over of this I just love this image. It made me so, so happy. Um, again, cover paper, I've already explained that. This is your sticker sheet and look at this image. I believe this is called Cloud Witch. The uh, title will be on the canvas, but look at her. She's got her black cat that's kind of playing with the little watering can on the bottom of her broom and she's got a cloud in her hand and she's wringing it out and the water's coming out and going into her watering can. She's recycling, so she's a recycler. But look at her hat with the flowers on it and her beautiful skirt that's kind of blowing in the breeze. And she's just a happy, and I love the curls, her hair. The curls are killing me. This one has 60 colors uh, and looks to be, um, if you look here at the end, uh, a lot of companies do this, and I always look at the end, three ABs in this kit. There were no ABs in the Wednesday Adams kit. Uh, the Be Afraid kit, but it's when, you know, I tell people when they say, oh, I got a Wednesday Adam kit from so-and-so company and there were no ABs, and I'm like, it's Wednesday Adams. She's not very blingy, but with her, with this uh, Cloud Witch, you can bling it up. So 60 colors, um, beautiful, beautiful colors, and you caught, are you ready? One of four, two of four, three of four, and four. 
four of four. So all of these drills are going in this canvas. Um, I believe it is a 70 by 90. So it is huge. It is huge giant. So let me unroll her. Look at her. Oh my gosh. I love her. I absolutely love her. Um, Cloud Witch artist Toshia San. Does it say how big it is? I'm thinking it's a 70 by 90 from what I am looking at. Um, what I looked at on the box. So, but look how beautiful she is. Uh, again, this one does not have as much confetti as the last one. Um, I'll kind of show it to you in sections because I know we're not kind of doing it justice, but she's got the little ribbon unfurling from her broom. I love the broom. She's in cute little, looks like she's in Doc Martin boots. And the cat is playing with the watering can here. But this is a very good mix, I will tell you, of color blocking and uh, confetti. So, oh, I cannot wait to see how this one comes out. I just needed some retail therapy this day because I was sad, stressed out, whatever. And this just made me so happy. Look at her beautiful hat. And she's, again, got a cloud in her hand and she's wringing it out, kind of like she's wringing out laundry. And the water is dripping down into her can and this beautiful... Uh, imagery of clouds around her. I just loved this one. This one is going to be so much fun to do. I just can't say enough. Um, uh, the, the, just the detail. And like I always say, I like different. And this one is a very different image than, you know, what I'm used to seeing all the time. So I just thought this was super fun. Once again, you've got uh, your schematic at the bottom. So you've got a thumbnail. Um, and you've got your color chart there and uh, down at the, if you can see, you really can't because they're so small, but 58, 59, and 60 are all AB colors. So you're going to have three ABs in this kit. Oh, I just love it. Same sticker sheet. Um, let me see. Okay, so one of your ABs is going to be AB3756. It is a very, very light minty green. I don't see any more ABs, but there's going to be a lot of it. There is, is there any, I don't see any in there. See some in here. Here's AB762. It's more of a gray color. I'm looking for our third AB. Oh, how convenient. All of three of the ABs are on the outside of these bags, so I don't have to take them out. This is AB3865, and this is more of a white. So you've got a light minty green, you've got a gray, and you've got a white. And I bet a lot of them are going to go in the clouds. Let me take a quick look here and tell you. And no, I have not forgotten about my 4,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to do that at the end, so stay with me. Stay with me. You got a check mark, you got an umbrella, and you've got what looks to be kind of a star pattern for an astrological sign. I, you know, I don't, I don't know what other way to explain it. Okay, so check mark umbrella. All right. Let me look. Let me look. I'm looking in these clouds. There's got to be okay, so. The star symbol for the astrological sign, which I believe is that white is in the clouds. You're gonna get it in the clouds up here. Um, let's see, where else are you going to get it? Up here in the clouds, so it's gonna be a lot of highlighting, it's that white color. That's gonna be highlighting those clouds. And the umbrella symbol, let me see. I believe is that, okay, so the uh, astrological star sign that's highlighting the clouds is the white. Then you've got the minty green, which is the umbrella. I'm looking in her dress because her dress is kind of green. Um, okay, there is a lot, guys, thank you for sticking with me. There is a lot of confetti in this one. So I'm like, ooh, where is it, where is it? Ah. Maybe in the watering can? Yes. Okay, wait. Am I looking? Yes, the umbrella is in the watering can. So you're going to get some in the watering can for sure. Um, any other place where that umbrella is? 
Marlon's getting better at finding the AB uh, symbols than I am. That's all I can find for now. And next we are looking for the check mark. And the check mark is going to be gray. Okay. You've got a lot of that check mark in the bottom of her skirt and down here, uh, kind of highlighting the sky. Lots of check marks in here, in here, all in here. Um, I'm wondering. Okay, I don't see any in her pinafore. I don't know if there are any up here. Yes, there are check marks in the sky. So you're going to get a couple of those ABs in the sky up here. Uh, so you're going to get two ABs up here and then another one down here. And uh, that umbrella is going to go in the watering can because it's metal and it'll, it probably would glint in the sunlight. So that is Cloud Witch, uh, the artist. I'm sorry I have not noted the artist. It is Toshia San. And again, another legally licensed artist from Jaded Gem Shop. So yeah, there's a lot of confetti, but there's also a lot of color blocking. Uh, again, this is just, just a really happy image. It makes me very happy. She's in the clouds, she's happy. And so that's what I've got. Okay, you guys have been very patient. Very, very patient. I did pick a winner. Now remember, uh, for those of you that did not watch my 4,000 subscriber giveaway announcement, um, I first of all want to once again say thank you to all of you for all of your support and all of your love. Uh, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, Marlon was my random number picker um, in my 4,000 subscriber giveaway announcement. I told you the prize was going to be Shop My Stash. And so what I did was under that video, I listed all of the diamond paintings that I had that you could pick from if you won. What I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to copy and paste all of those canvases that you have to, to pick from, the winner has to pick from, and um, I am going to let them pick one of those paintings from my stash and I will get it sent to you immediately. So drum roll, please. I do all my own sound effects too, apparently. The winner of my 4,000 subscriber giveaway is Christina Tremblay. Christina, please send me an email. Um, and uh, it's theprincipalpainter at gmail.com. I'll put my email underneath this video too. Christina, congratulations. Um, I will need your you know, mailing address and everything else. And uh, let me know which painting you would like from my stash and I will get it sent right out to you. Again, Christina Tremblay, congratulations. And thanks to everybody um, for loving on me and supporting me in this journey. I greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up on your way out as it does help the channel. And also, if you're new here and like unboxings, you like lives, um, I do have sneak peeks um, from some companies. I would love to have you join the Painter family, so please hit that subscribe button. It is a free way to support my channel, and uh, I greatly appreciate it, and I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.